<laughs> um, daytime or nighttime? <laughs> daytime is coming aboard the ship during the day is a blast. I mean, you come in, you work your set way down the stack, you make your own interval. It's all zip lip, you know, no, no calm. You come in, you make your interval 45 seconds and you land. It's a blast. It's a good time. Nighttime, a little bit of a different story. Not a good peripheral vision uh, perception as you're coming down the, down the chute for when you call the ball all the way in, you know, bad weather makes it even worse. That definitely gets your adrenaline pumping. Uh, but again, like, like we said earlier, you put your trust in the ship that all those wires are set correctly, all the, all the tension set it the right way, and the people on board are doing the right thing. The LSOs, the landing signal officers on the back, are going to keep you within a certain safety box with their calls if necessary. Uh, and, and coming back from space, especially in a Russian Soyuz capsule like we did, I mean, it's, it's not often you get to return from work in a 17, 000, at 17,000 miles an hour in a 3,000 degree fireball. But that's, <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. Because as you enter the atmosphere, the friction builds up, you get plasma, 3,000 degrees, and you're literally inside the fireball. And it's rough and it's shaking. Uh, there's not much you can do but hang on. And that's, I would say that's more like being a passenger uh, um, when you're landing on a carrier instead of in control. Because when you're coming back in the atmosphere for the Soyuz, you're not in control. You're along for the ride. It's pure mayhem. <laughs> it's, it, is it is pure, pure mayhem. mayhem. And I say they save the best for the last because that ride home is absolutely spectacular. Oh, it is. Go ahead and describe the like parachute opening and all that. It's basically <laughs> just a series of, uh, of car crashes followed by slamming into the earth. <laughs> right. And so you got the reaction control thrusters and they're banging around and you can see parts of your ablative heat shield as it's melting and curling up your window and your oh, window's yeah. turning from pink to red to maroon to black as it's just burned. Yeah. And, uh, and then our parachute opens supersonic and so that's quite a, quite a shock and you feel like you're tumbling because you are tumbling uh, and then you float down on a parachute. I've never gotten out of an airplane, thankfully. So yeah, uh, you come true. down on a parachute and then you slam into the desert floor in Kazakhstan. They call it a soft landing, but it's anything but. Oh, yeah. And then and in gen this case, gen generally you tip over yeah. and our parachute drug us for about 200 <laughs> meters and then we were finally home. But after six months of weightlessness, yeah, pure mayhem. Yeah, pure mayhem. But but, uh, <laughs> but it's, fun. It, as they say, you know, the, the e-ticket ride at the fair, the most you know daring, challenging, funnest ride, e-ticket. It's e-ticket plus coming back from space. Oh, that's for sure. You bet. <laughs>